home to Hangster's Hot Rods, Muscle Cars, and Collector Car Showroom, America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. This is a real nice piece. It's a 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle, blue with black stripes, big block car. We're gonna start off here in the engine bay. This is a 396. Starting off driver side firewall, you're gonna see the master cylinder does have a power booster behind it. So you have power brakes on this Chevelle, front disc brakes, rear drums. Take a look at those headers. That's a real nice quality set right there. Long tube headers, high performance spark plug wires, the Moroso valve covers, that looks good. That chrome contraption, that's your power steering. So this is a power brake, power steering car. You're also gonna notice a lot more chrome in front of the engine compartment. So you have a heavy duty accessory drive here, nice belts, and you also have electric fans. 396 Holly carburetor, really nice engine. Whoever put it together did an excellent job. Sounds nice, runs good. Uh, overall, a great, great mechanical um, aspect of this car. AAC, usually there would be an air compressor mounted in the engine block. There is no AC on this car, but if you wanted ice cold AC on the 68 Chevelle, give us a call. We can get you a quote, Hangster's Garage. Uh, they can have this blow in ice cold AC before delivery. Shut the hood, check out the paint condition. Blue car, black stripes, gorgeous car. We've got the 17 inch Kragers there, so a really nice look. This vinyl, clear coated over, so there is no lip. The paint on the hood is awesome. Uh, there is no clear coat cracking. There is no paint blistering, bubbling, anything like that. Real nice paint job on the 68 Chevelle. Going a little bit lower, passenger side headlight clarity is great. All the chrome bezels look good. Uh, moving around, you'll see the chrome bumper. That's in good shape. There's no pitting, no patina. The grill, that's not falling off. The badges are all there. Driver side, headlight clarity is great. Again, there's no pitting, no patina on that front bumper. Going a little bit down low, we're gonna start off with the front fender here on the driver's side. No spider webbing, no cracking, no patina, really nice paint job, deep paint job, nice clear coat. Not too much to point out except this one little paint touch up that is there. Guess what? That's what happens when you buy a 50 year old car. Going down under where that black portion meets where the blue, very nice paint. Everything is uniform across. Windshield clarity, that is looking good. There's no rock chips in there. No splitting, all the bright work around it looks excellent. Faint scratches around here, that's pretty common with a car of this age. Check out the dash, no splitting there, real nice dash. And before we go to the driver's side door, check out the body lines on this car. All the gaps line up really nice. Whoever did the restoration did a fantastic job. We have no documentation, but to me, it looks like a fairly recent restoration. Driver's side door, check out underneath where the black meets the blue. No rock chips, no spider webbing, no cracking. Really nice deep paint job there. That looks excellent. You have some kind of imperfect, oh, no, that's just dirt. That wiped off. So yeah, nothing to point out on the driver's side door. Real nice paint there. Check out the roof. There are a couple little spots in the middle there, little imperfections kind of going across. Um, depending on the sunlight or the angle, you don't really see that. But with the right lighting, it is there. Now I'm gonna show you the driver's side glass. Faint chip, or not chips, there's little scratches here. Again, if you hit the sunlight directly on it at the right angle, you're gonna see it. If not, you're not. Quarter glass, same thing. Little scratches right there. But again, you're buying an old car. They're not perfect. Check out the door panel. Uniform color across. Everything's looking good there. 
Uh, the upholstery there, all the vinyl is excellent. So nothing to point out. Really nice interior on the Chevelle. The cushion's great. Uh, there's no mismatched colors on the seat, no tears. You have digital gauges up there, which we'll show you on the test drive video. And let's show you the carpet condition. Brand new floor mats. And underneath, you're gonna see the carpet is in good shape. Cool. Shut this door. Look at how well the lines match up on this car. That is awesome. Great body lines, great looking car. Lower portions of the corridor panel look excellent. You know, you're gonna have little spots, little dimples. I think right there, that's one. Very, very minor. Overall, the paint condition's excellent on this car. In my opinion, it's about an eight out of 10, but your opinion may be a little bit different. You may think it's better, you may think it's worse. Before we move up, check out those Krager wheels. Those are 17s. We'll have up close pictures on our website at hangsters.com. You're also gonna see a 25 minute video presentation that you're watching right now. The rear glass, faint scratches. Almost all classic cars will have some sort of scratches on the glass just from the restoration, from the bodywork. They leave behind little, uh, little scratches there, but overall the clarity is great. Pop the trunk, see what's inside. Check that out, you have a floor mat, trunk mat here. Peeling that up, no rust, no rot, no holes. Great looking trunk. No spare tire, no jack. All the rubber, that's in good shape. And the trunk lid, everything is a really nice shape. Good condition. All right. Trunk lid itself, you know, you have little touch up spots right there, but check out the trunk lid. There's nothing really that points out, sticks out to me. Again, this is clear coated over this black vinyl. So that's all in good shape. All the chrome on the driver's side, look at that tail light. Clarity is excellent. All the chrome around it looks good. The bumper is in fantastic shape. Uh, those look pretty new to me. Moving on to the passenger side. Bumper is great. No patina, no chipping, and the taillights. Good body style. The 68s definitely have a unique uh, rear end, one of my favorites. But yeah, let's uh, check out the body lines on the passenger side where the quarter panel needs to drive, or passenger side door, and then to the fender. Nothing's sticking out, nothing's poking out. That's in great shape. Nice car. Lower portions of the quarter panel where the black meets the blue, no rock chips, no patina, nothing's bubbling up there. Nothing to really point out. Again, we have the wheels and tires on our website. Those are in nice shape. I don't even see any rock chips or scraping on those. Moving on top, same thing as the driver's side, you know, little blemishes around here on the roof, but depending on the angle in the sunlight, you don't see them. Very, very minor. Take a look at where the passenger side door meets the quarter panel. That's perfect. Um, you can't ask for much better body lines than that. There's no chipping, no scraping no paint runoff anywhere on this. So great looking paint job. Whoever did it, they knew what they were doing. Passenger side interior, door panels in great shape. It's not ripped, it's not torn up. Take a look at the bucket seats. No rips, no tears, uh, great, great shape. They look good. And we're gonna show you the carpet underneath the floor mat as well. You know, the back seats, those look good. Usually, or majority of people can't even sit at them because they're kind of small back there, but yeah, those are in good shape. Peel up the floor mat. Carpet looks new. We didn't put it in there, but whoever did must have done it recently. No mismatch on the carpet or the, um, the brand new floor mat, so that's looking good. Shut the door. 
perfect. No clunking, no squeaking when you shut the door, um, especially for a car that's over 50 years old. That's pretty impressive to me. Not many blemishes to really point out on the passenger side door. I don't see any uh, imperfections, no scratches, no bubbling. So that's in great shape. Take a look at the clarity of the windows. The windshield, that looks good. No chips there. And you don't have any scratches on the passenger side either for the glass. Um, so this is in good shape. Moving on to the front fender. Lower portions, the body lines, excellent. No paint scrapes, no chips, no patina. Nice deep reflection. The chrome arches on all four corners look good. They're not falling off. Badges, 396 badges. Chrome's there, no patina, not falling off there. Uh, you do have a touch up. It was somewhere over here. Again, this car is a really nice paint job, so it is kind of hard to tell where they are depending on the angle. A little blemish, a little bubble kind of imperfection right there. I don't even think the camera's gonna point that out. Now we try to be transparent about all the cars that we send out of here. We have 70, 80 pictures on our website. We have a 25 minute video presentation that we're watching right now. I try to point everything I see out. These are 50, 60 year old cars. They're not brand new. If you are a more particular buyer, you can come to Daytona Beach. We can pull the car outside and check it out in the natural sunlight. And we can also put it on the lift so you can check out the undercarriage. If it's your first classic car, you can give us a call. We can help go over what type of oil, what type of gas, carburetor adjustments, and all of that. We sell driver quality cars here at Hangsters. They are not absolutely concourse. If that is what you're looking for, if you know what you want, I strongly suggest coming to Daytona Beach. Now, Pennsylvania, they've been open 30 years. We are going on nine years here in Daytona Beach. Majority of our business will be sight unseen. We are like the Amazon of classic cars. So out of a handful of cars that we sell, I only meet a handful of people here in Daytona Beach. So very few people book a flight. But again, I do recommend booking a flight, making a trip. That way you can drive the car, see how it feels, stops, accelerates, all that. But like I said, majority is sight unseen. We sell nationwide. Um, this is a nice car. You know, this has everything needed to just get up and go, turn key. It's a Hangster certified unit. So we include shipping and then we also have our warranty. Let's put the 68 Chevelle up on the lift. We're gonna check out the undercarriage, uh, see how well, how nice that was done. And like I mentioned previously, whoever did the body work, paint work, did an excellent job. After that video, we'll put it down on the ground, take it for a drive, see how it runs. Underneath our 1968 Chevelle, let's start off at the front. Front disc brakes, this is a power disc brake car. Check out the caliper, the backing plate, that all looks fresh. All the suspension is nice and tidy, really tight steering on this Chevelle. It's a pleasure to drive. Front of the engine bay, or engine block. Check that out. It's a heavy duty accessory drive. That looks good. The front seal is nice and dry. Show you around the oil pan. That looks good. We'll show you the driver's side, kind of pan around here. No seeps, no leaks, anything like that. Check out the headers. These are long tube headers, chrome. They look fantastic. No pinholes, no rot, no rust in those. All the welds look great. Good set of quality headers on this car. Front frame rail on the driver's side. Nice and solid, nothing to really point out there. Passenger side, looks just as good as the driver's side. Really nice underside on this 68 Chevelle. Turbo 400, automatic transmission. Check out that pan, nice and dry. No leaks at this time. And you're also gonna notice that it has an electronic sensor. These are digital gauges. We're gonna show you that on our test drive. So that looks good. The tail shaft seal looks excellent. The transmission cross member looks fairly new. 
Take a look at these floorboards. The driver's side is perfect. One solid piece, no patch panels, no weird rust, no rot, no holes. Take a look at the passenger side. Nice floors, you know, no heavy undercoating on these. These look fairly new. So the restoration, whoever did the bodywork paintwork, in my opinion, it was done fairly recent just because of the quality of these bodies or the body panels, the underside looks fantastic. E-brake cable, that's hooked up, operating. Dual exhaust, you have flow masters. That goes over the rear axle. And again, this is a 12 bolt, 343 rear end. It is also a posi. Check this out, you have the sway bar, you have the four link up there. So the money spent on the rear suspension on this car, it was not cheap. This is a very, very nice suspension setup. Take a look at the drum brake. So you have front disc, rear drums. That looks excellent. The frame rails, nice and solid. No holes, no rut, no rust, no rot. The gas tank, that looks new. No pinholes in that gas tank either. Really, really nice underside on the Chevelle. These are cool tires. These are 17s. Uh, all the tread is perfect. Um, no dry rot, no cracking in the tires. So that all looks wonderful. This is a really nice Chevelle. You know, this color combo with the big block, uh, you can't really beat that. Nice looking car, great riding car. The suspension is really nice and tight. If you'd like to purchase this Chevrolet Chevelle, you can give us a call. Um, we'd be happy to assist you. But as far as payment, we can do bank wires, cashier's check. Uh, you could also come to Daytona Beach and just pay cash. We also offer financing with 10% down. Term length, term condition, that is all something to go over with the lender. Uh, we have no control over that. But whole process, very streamlined, pretty quick. You'll fill out the application on our website, hangsters.com. Within a few hours, our lenders will reach out with an approval. Let's put the 68 Chevelle on the ground. Let's take it for a drive and see how it runs. Inside our 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle, big block 396. Start off with the horn. Horn works, that's awesome. Um, we're gonna check out the wipers. Wipers work, great. Driver's side turn. These are digital gauges, so we'll kind of show you there. Got speedometer, and then I'll show you the passenger side turn before that though. So that works. 2,949, true miles unknown. Title's gonna read exempt. Temper at 120, we just started it up, so that'll probably climb as we drive. 50 pounds of oil pressure, that's great. Bolts are looking good. You have a tack. Tack works, that's cool. 89% fuel, so fuel gauge works, tack works, volts, everything on this dash functions as it should. Radio, it seems like one of those retro radios, but there's no power going to it. If you want that hooked up, you can contact Nate over at Hangster's Garage. Uh, we can have that going before delivery. There is no AC, so we're gonna open up those event windows today um, but other than that let's go for a drive see how it runs this is a cool car this is a fun car whoever set up the engine transmission whoever put this together did an excellent job throttle response is great gets right up in there there is a cop up there so we're not going to really speed through him but check that speedometer out all the digital gauges 35 miles per hour Steering, nice and tight, left to right, left to right. It's no delays, really firm steering, tight steering. Hands off the wheel. Tracks dead on. Whoever set up the suspension in the front, whoever put the rear suspension that is an adjustable four link, so it rides phenomenal. The seats are great. They have good cushion to it, nice comfortable seats. Uh, we're gonna test out the brakes when we get to the light up there. This is a nice car. Tons of power, great throttle response, has a nice sound to it too. Um, let's go past this cop. Hopefully not attract too much attention here. Don't want to get pulled over on the job, wouldn't be good. It's a nice cruiser. 
I like this car a lot. Check out the headliner too. Nice headliner. This is turnkey. This is one of those cars, it turns on right away. You know, this is a carbureted car, but you don't even have to press on the gas. It just turns on nice and sharp. Whoever put it together did great. Turn signals, those work. All right, we're gonna come up to the red light, test out the brakes. Oh, those work phenomenal. <laughs> Doesn't pulsate to the left or right. Um, yeah, dead on when you brake. Same thing when you accelerate down there. There's no engine vibrations, no tranny vibrations, no differential groans, moans, anything like that. Let's get on it. We have a green light. And we're catching up the traffic. That's about 65, almost at 70 there. Um, yeah, when you push the brakes, dead on. Hands off the wheel, 45 miles an hour, awesome. Uh, again, this is a Hangster certified unit. That means we own this car at full price. Uh, we include enclosed transportation. We also have our 90 day warranty. Engine, transmission, differential. So the major powertrain we will cover. As far as tranny leaks, power steering leaks, alternators, batteries, those are wear and tire items. That's what you sign up for when you buy a 50 year old car. But this is a nice one. I wouldn't hesitate with this one. Big block Chevelles go pretty quickly, especially ones that have nice options like the suspension, the engine, the digital gauges. I don't see it lasting too long on our websites. Check out hangsters.com. You'll see 80, 90 pictures. You're also going to see a 25 minute video presentation that you're watching right now. And give us a call, go on our website. If you're interested in this car, um, I'd be happy to get this delivered to your home. Have a great day, everyone.